Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Today we're going to look at grouping versus nesting in Adobe Premiere Pro. First of all, there are no hard and fast rules of which one is better, grouping or nesting. Depends on your workflow. I use grouping sometimes and nesting sometimes. Uh, my show opening that you just saw, all those pieces, all those graphics, including the blur, the adjustment layer, is one group. So my intro is different lengths, and I can move that, that whole group very, very easily, all those different parts. That's a great idea for a group. So I've got some uh, quick examples here uh, of using an opening and a closing, and we'll, we'll import them both as, a, as a, a nest and not as a nest, and I'll show you how I use groups uh, in this example here. So here is my uh, show opening that I've got. So there's a bunch of clips in here, lots of um, effects going on and a soundtrack. And you'll notice that the soundtrack continues after the last clip. So in this example, the audio continues on. I want the sound of that audio to continue into the beginning of the episode as a little bit of a, a trademark of, of what that um, is like. Okay, so that is the opening. So in episode one, I wanna show you here that I've got the closing already and that the audio is made of a cut here. So this is Artlist audio. I got a whole tutorial about Artlist, fantastic place for all of your audio. In this example, I cut some of the, the audio out, found the beat and then continued on. So these are two separate pieces. If I wanted to move them, I have to make sure I select both of them every time and it's easy to, to forget that. Here's a great way, here's a great reason for a group. Right click and choose group. Now those two are grouped. When I click on one, it will select both, and when I move one, it'll select both. Now, I could have also selected the credits here. This is the rolling credits at the end. So instead of just this being grouped, I'll ungroup this, select this, and that, right click, group. Because maybe my credits are timed in a specific way. Now when I move any one of, the, any one of these, all of them will move in a group. Fantastic way. Um, whether they're multiple elements on multiple tracks or just a whole bunch of cuts that you, you'd never want those to change, uh, but you don't want to render them out. So make them into a group. Okay, so you remember the, the show opening. Here's the opening here. It's its own sequence. If I bring this in as a nest, and that's what this is, what, when this is turned blue, it means it's a nest. So I'll drag this in. Right now it'll replace that. So if I hold the control key on Windows, the command on Mac, it's going to pop all of that down on the timeline. But there's a problem. The nest, remember in the original opening, that's where the picture finishes here and the audio continues. When I bring it in as a nest, it, it lines both of them up. So the, it, although there's nothing there, you can see that there is nothing, but there is audio. So what I could do is I could protect this. I don't want to, to change this, but I do want to change this, find the, the place here. I could now do a ripple trim from here. So you grab the ripple edit tool and click and drag that back. You can also use a keyboard shortcut if you still have the same move tool and you hold the control key down on Windows, the command key on Mac, you'll get the same thing. So now the opening edits, the opening picture ends, but the audio continues on. Another way to do that, instead of bringing this in as that uh, 
as a nest, if you have that turned off, and I bring in the same opening, and again, this time I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm holding Control or Command, it pops everything down. It still moves it down to the duration of the end, but this is a little easier. I can protect this, just click in here and delete, and now it does the same thing. So for me, a nest didn't work. I want to have all those different pieces to the show opening just in case I need to tweak something or, or work with it. Okay, so now let's look at the ending and do the same thing. So here's the ending th that I've got. Instead of the credit roll starting right away, it just starts to tease you a little bit. So we see hear a little bit of the music coming in and bam. So you see the credits aren't coming in yet. And now they're coming. Okay, so if we go to episode two and I bring this in, so the same idea, here is the closing. And I'll, if I bring this in as a nest, again, um, I can pick where this is going, a different track. hit play, music starts up. Oh, maybe I need to bring that in a little sooner. I'm guessing really because I don't have any indication of, of when the final credit roll happens. And again, if I turn that I'll turn that off this time and bring that in. Now I can see where the credits roll right there. And remember, I could group this. So I'll select that, group it. Now it rolls and then we go to black, boom, right there. So again, no hard and fast rules of when to use nests and when not to use. Uh, at the end card, um, I've got a, a tutorial about creative nesting and when to use it. Um, in all honesty, I am not someone who can use a lot of nesting. Um, I will bring in full clips and work with it. it. It does make sense if you want one show opening to be editable and changeable in multiple shows. So anytime you edit that opening, if that's a nest in 10 or 50 other clips, then they will update. So in that example, that's a good idea, but you gotta remember the duration will not change. So if the show opening is always 10 seconds and then you cut to the next picture, fantastic. Change the show opening as much as you want. But if you change that to eight seconds, it doesn't mean in all the, the resulting timelines, they'll all shift over. You would have to manually go in there and move each one of those. So they've got their uses, they've got their pluses, they've got their minuses. You just figure out which one works best for your workflow. If you're new to Video Revealed and you have found this informative, please take a moment and subscribe. It does make a difference. We really do appreciate when you do and when you like us with a thumbs up. If you want to support us some more, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description and one on the uh, front of the channel. Oh yeah, and by the way, this was Artlist Music and all of the clips in here were supplied by Adobe Stock, the premier supplier of stock video, images, illustrations, motion graphics, templates, and 3D objects. Find the perfect asset for your next video project. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and I'm here to get inside all the niggly bits inside Adobe Premiere.